Can you believe it? It's weekly wrap-up Friday afternoon. How fast the time flies. Can you believe it? We have Katrina. Hello. Ta -da. <laughs> Katrina's in between sessions right now, so we pulled her in for a, a rare appearance. Wrap up. Do you have anything you want to say about the week? Any victory? Any challenge? Victory. I made some Instagram posts. Instagram posts. I figured out how to get Instagram to get videos from the Google Docs onto my phone into iMovie so that I could then make an Instagram post, which I've wow. been struggling with that. It sounds like a big deal. And if anybody else there has that same blah, 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 same challenge, <laughs> we'll get her to come on and show you how to do it. I, I figured it out. Yeah. It, it, it was a lot of trial and error. I can't believe you know something techie before I do. It is because of my Instagram mm -hmm. commitment. Gotcha. First time for yeah. everything. Yeah, yes. so that's good. Good. And teaching wise, you were somewhere recently. I was in Chicago. I took the OOV two, three course oh. again. And then I was teaching here to the two weekends before. I've been teaching a lot. Yes, you have. I don't have you to teach You deserve a fun weekend. Friday. In fact, is that a little OOV right that, there? I made that on my phone. There's a little OOV. Wait, how, can they see that? Well, I'm going to share it in a second. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I made that. That's what I made. Oops. Good job, Katrina. Okay. I, I have to go because there's an independent out there that I'm supervising. Oops. Oops daisies. All right. <laughs> bye, Susan Katrina. She's great. Thanks for stopping in. All right. Have a good weekly wrap up. Speaking guys. of. Can you close that door behind yeah. you? Speaking of the client that is out there doing an independent right now, she's pretty famous here. Really? She was our Plingo winner last year. And who is it? Her name is Sue. Sue. You don't want to say her last name in case she's in the witness exactly, protection program. Exactly, exactly. And that's what I wanted to talk about today is Plingo. I know you've been woodshedding on something, and, yeah. I, and I had a thought that it was it. So tell me a little bit about that. So I'm very excited because this is, I mean, obviously I've been working here for many, many years. And, you know, as the seasons change, things kind of repeat. But last year in November, I created this thing called the Plingo Challenge. Um, I know a lot of studios do a bingo type thing, but I did all the bells and whistles. Um, with the intention that this is going to be a thing, like not just like, oh, we're going to do it this year, but like with the intention of I'm going to do it next November. And next right. November. You so, were planning for success. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really excited that this kind of has changed the course of how I do my job. Do it once the next year, you have to make a few changes and it's that easy. So which is kind of the mantra of the digital marketer anyway. Exactly. Is, you know, yeah. look at last year's numbers, yep. see if you can make them better this yeah. year. Yeah, and it was really fun to prepare for Plingo this year um, cool. because of that. Like, all the work was already done. I just had to do a couple of tweaks here and there. So, yeah, I've been working on it for guys, for folks who have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, I've just started printing up our cards today. These are our Plingo cards, so all the clients can get one of these and um, as they do the activities on the card throughout the month of November. Our staff gets to stamp them with bingo stampers. Old school stampers. Totally old school. Well, they do have glitter, so I don't know how old school that Ooh, is. Ooh, glitter stampers. <laughs> glitter stampers. I think I want one on each cheek. <laughs> so it's really fun. We play for the whole month of November. Um, and the intention is that typically in the past has been the month where we really see a decline after like September and October. We are really busy. Lots of people are like, you know, in the door and doing their classes. But then when November hits and then December. Yeah. Do you, I know sometimes you don't like to talk about actual numbers, uh -huh. but can you say anything about percentages? Because this is an yeah. engagement strategy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, last year, we, uh, I would say our class attendance check-ins was up by 10%. And you can just look at a report in Wellness Living to yeah. get that. Yeah, and so, this, so it was up last November and December 10%. And um, compared to previous years. So this year, I want to do 10% more of what our average has been the whole year. Interesting. So, last so year, that was just for the previous November, period. I yeah. see. So now I found our average for the whole year thus far, and I our goal is to get that up. Um, and well, I'm looking forward to being in the studio for the first time for this. It's I mean, so I've fun. known you were doing yep. it in the past, but I wasn't managing. Right, so. right, right. No, our clients love it. It's so fun. This 
is in a, a strategy strategy <laughs> <laughs> working on that can word. you spell that <laughs> no strategy strategy i'm frustrated by that word <laughs> another word i can't say um this is not a strategy to get new clients in the door this is really focusing on our current clients and getting their um number of classes up per week mm -hmm. and also just keeping them here as the holidays start coming into our lives right because that's only one of two ways three ways to build a business mm -hmm. get yep. new customers expensive mm -hmm. get your existing customers to buy more often mm -hmm. not expensive mm -hmm. or get them to spend more that's not expensive exactly. either yeah and i love cool. I, I love plingo i love those three tips or three ideas because yeah. Whenever I create some kind of marketing campaign or an email or whatever, I always say to myself, what's the goal here? Is it to get client clients, new clients? Yeah, what am I doing? Increase the frequency of our current clients or increase the um, amounts that buy So tell me again, the goal this time is 10% compared to the entire year? 10% increase in what? In class attendance. Class attendance. So total class check-ins. Um, and I have a goal for our group apparatus classes, which are mainly wow, reformer classes. We've got classes. six new classes, too. We do. Yeah. This is very exciting. So we have a goal for apparatus classes and a goal for Mac classes. And if we reach it, I'm kind of thinking I want to, like, get all the instructors on board in a way to, like, if we reach our goal, give them a present. So I have to great. think of a present. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. Right? And are they going to know that there's the possibility of that yes. so they can really bring it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, when I say 10% above the average of the year, all those numbers get lost on people who don't care about them that much. Right. But if I say, I do believe the our goal for group apparatus classes is 300 check-ins for the month. So I'll tell them, guys, we need 300 and maybe update it every couple of days and let them know how we're doing. Help us get there mm -hmm. and there's going to be a little surprise yeah, for all of yeah. us. So fun for the clients, fun for the teachers. Um, yeah, just getting, just getting, you know, people. Um, oh, and, and I should say that a lot of these actions, uh, they kind of, gently push clients to see new teachers or to take new classes or to come more frequently. So there is definitely a gentle push with each one of these. Right. Which brings me to asking you yeah. this question. You know, we have a version of this that studios can purchase. Absolutely. We do. And you get to fill in your mm -hmm. own. What is your studio? Right. Need? Right. So talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, well, when I started this last year, I just sat down with a Google doc and I brainstormed like, what do we need? Last year, we actually needed a lot more um, administrative stuff. Like we needed Facebook lights. It's not too administrative, but we needed and more. Setting up to attract them though is yeah. administrative. Yeah. yeah. Um, we needed people to download our app. We needed people to schedule online. So a lot of our actions were, were focused more on those types of things. Right. Um, we did have some class focused actions, but most of them are focused on those type of things and it, and it worked over the year, mm -hmm. you know, like, so this year we didn't really need to encourage that activity very much. So this is awesome. The work you did I last know. year pays off year after yeah. year after year. Yeah. Very, very cool. Beautiful. So, you know, I just, I sat down and thought about, you know, um, our Wednesday <laughs> evening class, <laughs> our Wednesday <laughs> evening class needs more people. So I put, you know, do a math class on Wednesday evening on a bunch of the cards just okay. trying yeah just trying to encourage people to go do that yeah so if you don't have anything like this in your studio i want to share the screen just to show you how far we've gone with this for you guys um over here you just go to the website and click on the shop and choose the plingo challenge there it is. and we actually have three different versions one is do it yourself with adobe acrobat and you fill in the blanks you download Oh my gosh, how many assets in this project are there? There's so many. I don't know. There's a bunch. They're all listed here, right? So you'd have to just do it yourself. Now, the other choices are do it yourself in Canva. Mm -hmm. If you're a Canva. How user. does that look? Um, that's, I mean, if you're familiar with Canva, you're going to feel right at home. But how do we get them to them? The, we share. We just share the files yes. with their Canva yes. account. Yeah. So <sighs> yeah. It just exploded. If you didn't know you could do that. <laughs> It's very cool. Yeah, you go to my shared something or other on Canva, and then you open it up, and it's all the files. And then you put in your own actions, your own studio name, change the color your to own your own pricing. Yeah, your own pricing, your branding color. Are you going to sell cards? Are you going to give cards mm -hmm. away? Yeah, so you can really customize That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait. I want to play. And then he, oh. Can I play, or am Absolutely. I disqualified? Oh, no, we can play. Yay. We, you might not be able to win. 
but well that's fun. okay but everybody wins because when you start filling up your card you've come to Pilates so much and who doesn't feel good when they come to Pilates? who doesn't feel good right. when they come so to Pilates? everybody wins but the third version the done for you done for you yeah yeah we so, do it all we yeah. just send you a form yeah. that asks you all the right questions mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. Within, what is our turnaround time? Less than a week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have it all done for you. You'll be able to launch it at your studio, um, you know, in a short amount of time. So if your time is a premium and you don't have the time or maybe even the skills to mm -hmm. do some of these, and some people don't because mm -hmm. they haven't had the opportunity, right. happy to do it for you. just costs a little bit more. Yep. Exactly. So cool. yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to, um, in the weekly wrap ups coming up to kind of keep people up to date about, about how ours that. went. Yeah. 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 And we'll share some footage, mm -hmm. uh, not only in the Facebook page, mm -hmm. but in the Facebook group. If you're not already in that, mm -hmm. you should join that too. So Pilates professionals. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know where it is, just give us a little ping in the comments and we'll send and you the we invite. We will send you there. Yeah. And what about you? I've been so busy over there in my corner that I haven't really noticed what you've been doing. I've been mostly getting ready, the uh -huh. physical space mm -hmm. ready for us to all three be gone mm -hmm. to the PMA. Next week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, oh we'll be God. in Monterey, California. So, you know, we have towels in the bathroom rather than paper towels. Mm -hmm. And the problem was going to be who's going to do all that, the laundry so and yeah. folding room. So we've got shelves now in both bathrooms that have so many towels. I think I now have 60 towels in each bathroom. Nice. We won't run out during no, the time we're we out. <laughs> no, we're all stocked up and you hung up some really nice shelves just to make that whole, I mean, we talk about it a lot, but just where can we save more time? Where can we be more efficient? Right, right. And it can even be the bathroom towels we can simplify. You bought how many times did you and I decide that we went into the bathroom to restock the basket? Like easily two to three times a day, Each. I would go into the bathroom and restock the towels and you too. So Each. And for us, that's 40 steps one way, yep. 40 steps back. Yep. Not a big deal but, on that one trip, yeah. but you add that up and... No more. No more. No more. Yeah, so that, that was really <laughs> exciting. Well, I'm excited about my new mop too, the Cedar oh, mop. Yeah. I did it this morning. Yeah. And I don't know about you guys, but we have some hardwood type floors and we were using the Swiffer wets just to, it's all disposable, blah, 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 just bad product. Not a bad product, but, but a bad choice if you're ecologically minded. Yeah, and for the amount that we, we mop. Yeah. Like, My new mop, not throw away. It dispenses with a pull of a trigger, a healthy cleaner. And it was a, it was a joy to mop the floors this morning at five o'clock in the morning. So. <laughs> That's why we're That's friends. all I got. That's why we're friends. <laughs> because I like to mop floors. And I like to and mop. So and I understand the joy of a new mop. The joy yeah. of the mop. Yeah, so everyone have a great weekend. Um, we're going out tonight. Get a beer. Yeah. Have some fun. Just yeah. Like, Friday, Friday, Friday. Yeah, close Party up like week. it's 1999. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'd be 11. <laughs> You'd be 11. No, I don't I'd be 20. Never mind. <laughs> you wouldn't be old enough to drink. No, I would not be. <laughs> We'd go to Chuck E. Cheese instead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, guys. It was Have a great weekend. Great to see you. Goodbye. See you on Tech Tuesday.